Hey YouTube, Pedro the Broke Prepper here with another video. Uh, this one I am doing on my bug out bag. So, yeah, but before I actually get into my actual bag, I wanted to just talk about, um, I know some of you guys are like me where you really want to do your bug out bag, you just never get around to doing it because you're you're planning of everything that you want to put into it and you're just over analyzing everything and the best advice I have for you guys is to do what I did and just get the bag that you want for your bug out bag and just put you know a couple matches a lighter some t-shirts maybe a blanket or two you know whatever you can find and as you go on once you have that initial bag started sorry baby peppers over there with my shoes once you get started, it's easier to just add one more thing to it every now and again and put a little thing here and there or see something and buy it to add to it. And um, so yeah, so let's just get into it. I'm sorry, you guys have to see this. That's my work shoes and that's baby pepper. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it. Oh, the camera's upside down. I'm sorry, guys. So, getting into the bag. First things first, the actual bag itself. Um, I used to do the landscaping for a police training bureau, bureau back in Miami. And they used to have like these dumpsters that didn't have any garbage in it. It was more like shells, uh, bullet shells, bullet casings, um, and every now and again like a empty first aid box or bag or an evac bag. And uh, my mother-in-law, she actually found one one day and took it and she gave it to me. And I just cleaned it out a little bit, cleaned it up, just because it was in a dumpster, even if there isn't any garbage in there, I still want to make sure it's clean. And that's how I got my bag. You know, you don't have to have a fancy hiking bag. It just it could be like a Jansport or something. You know, so long as you have the essentials in the bag and the bag is easily, you know, strapped to your back and you go and get out. So, for yeah, so... Then I took off the strings and I put some 550 paracord on it. And that's it for the actual bag. And on the outside I have a, you guys might remember this from the one of the reviews I did on the surprise Bud K bag. It's the Timberwolf spork and knife combo. I keep that on the outside. It's real good to have. I actually have another set in here, you know, just in case like for my wife loses hers or we meet somebody in the apocalypse and they don't have a fork or if I just lose mine you know remember one is none and two is one very important guys and then I guess we'll start with the top pouch let me just maneuver this down In the top pouch, I have a map inside a, a map of the state I live in and some earbuds. I have a magnifying glass, two pencils, sunglasses, and I get the carpenter pencils just because you don't really need a pencil sharpener, even though I have one to use them. Okay, yeah, and then I have an emergency whistle on this thing. You can buy these for like five, six bucks, and the compass really works. It's a compass slash signaling mirror slash magnifying glass slash binoculars. And this is really meant for kids. But when I saw it and, it, you know, for the price, I just got it, you know. And I just think it's something that will really come in handy. And it's really cool, so I like it. And then I got a little do uh, dollar headlamp from Walmart. 
I still have the tag in it so that the batteries don't so that the batteries don't drain out as fast. And that's it for my top pouch. By the way, this is normally buckled. I just normally have my tomahawk in here. But I like to sleep with it by my bed just in case. Or just to have it around just to kind of play with it. Love playing with my tomahawk. By the way, it's a cold steel. The Trailhawk. Uh, real cheap, real good. It's real sturdy handle. The head feels really nice. Really good tomahawk, but I'm not doing a review on that just yet. So, now I'm going into this pocket. If I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, this is my cooking slash shelter packet pocket. And here I have the stove uh, that I already did a review on. This is the $5 Walmart stove with the burning cubes. And then I have a small Mylar emergency blanket and a Tupperware with, with, with some soap, like a bar of soap just in case. Uh, some bandanas, some cheap dollar store bandanas. And then my cooking kit, which I also did a video on. And you guys should probably check out if you haven't already. And then last but not least i have another item from the bud k bag or surprise bag that came with the sporks little shovel little trowel for digging out fire pits or uh, sleeping place ah baby peppers over here trying to touch on my bug out stuff Let me just put this aside. And now I'm going into my other pack, which is, uh, I believe, my wood processing and my other stuff. This is uh, the SCHL56XL. Um, it's a really good knife. I really want to do a review on it. I just haven't been able to get out there to do it. Uh, it comes with the with magnesium with a ferro rod and the sharpening stone. Real good knife. I like it because it's that uh, the drop point edge and it's very thick blade. You can easily use this. Sorry that the camera's moving. Baby Pepper's going crazy. <laughs> and um. It's a really good bushcraft blade on top of that you can use it for uh, batoning even though a lot of people are like very against batoning for some reason I feel like batoning is a just a skill that you should have that you should know and a lot of people are like well if you have an axe well what if you get separated from your axe and all you have is a knife how are you gonna process wood then as a prepper, you're supposed to be prepared for every contingency. And if you refuse to baton because you want to prolong the life of your life of your knife, rather than process wood without an axe, you know, in my mind, that's just downright stupid. So there you have it. You can hate me in the comments all you want. I don't care. Next, I have a waterproof guide of edible wild plants. Real nice to have, good to have. Granted, it should be in my other pocket. Uh, I have a belt, some more earplugs, and a... Huh, this should go on my top pouch, but I have my Leatherman Signal. I want to do a review on this also, just because it's a really good tool to have and I really like it, even though a lot of people are hating on it right now. Don't know why. Some more earplugs just in case. And a belt, an extra belt, just in case my belt gets lost or I forgot to wear one. And then... I have no idea where this is from. 
but I guess this has been here for a long time. It's a piece of metal. But now that I know it, that it's there, I guess I'll just take it out. Last but not least in this pocket, I have, you'll recognize this from my first video, which I did on the saws, on the saw kit from Harbor Freight. It's a saw handle with saw blades for processing and cutting wood, you know, making shelter. Saws and axes are both, in my mind, essential. Just axes for actually processing and gathering wood, saws for more for processing and bushcraft, you know, making a shelter, making, you know, a spoon or bowl or whatever, whatever have you. <laughs> so that's it for that pocket so now going on to the main book bag I have oh I only have two things in this one I'm sorry guys like I said my bug out bag is a process it's something that I'm constantly working on every now and again whenever I have the spare time or the money for it sorry guys baby peppers over here like moving everything around so first things first, I have this two and a half gallon bag with a fleece a hunting mask and a hoodie for my old job. Again, remember just keeping it dry, keeping an extra set of clothes dry for whatever reason, you know, always in handy. And the first level of shelter is your clothes, always your clothes and then whatever actual structure you make that's like your second and your third level of shelter so clothes are your first priority when it comes to shelter and remember five c's of survival guys combustion cover container cut and cordage so and last i have a tarp this is a five by seven tarp Every once in a while, Harbor Freight has a coupon. Well, they will give you a free tarp for any purchase. I literally bought a, I think it was a, a set of screwdrivers or a pair of pliers. And with that coupon, I got a free tarp. And then I went back and I bought something else and I got a second free tarp. So that's for my wife's bug out bag, which is well under construction and I need to start getting on that one too so that's it guys see it's not a complete bug out bag and I did want to I did want to make this video or I do want to make this video um, just to show some of you guys who feel like they don't want to make it because they don't have everything yet um, just because you don't have everything yet doesn't mean that you shouldn't start it having it there and having it ready already puts you ahead of the game um, so just because you don't have everything or just because you don't feel comfortable with what you have so far doesn't mean that you should get it started that you shouldn't get it started so best thing to do is just grab like i said a book bag you know put a couple of things in there a couple matches a shirt some socks a pair of underwear and some zip -up bags and yeah and get it started so have fun be safe and don't forget don't ever not be prepared guys have a good one youtube